look very well done i think this is a good time to say this i've been thinking of us breaking up this relationship i don't see it going anywhere with the restaurant idea i don't think there's a future for us i'm not willing to invest in this Look, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I don't think I can build any future with you. Down. Hmm. Um, stop giving me attitude. What's wrong with you? Huh? I'm not giving you attitude. So what is it? I've been thinking. Thinking. Thinking about what? I've been thinking a lot. Okay. You know, you've lost your job twice. Okay. Twice in a row. Mm. And the work that I was doing too, I got fired. Because I was accused of something I never even did. So I was thinking that, you know, the economy is going wayward. And things are not going as we expect them to be. And from certain analysis I've done, I've seen that people are more into food, you know. When you, when you are selling food, it actually goes, no matter what you get people to buy, as long as it's rich and good and the price is okay. So I was thinking I've saved some money and if you could support me with some that you've saved, some amount of money you've saved so that you can open a restaurant with our names on it, we can be the sole owners of it and own it as well. Um, great. Susan, first of all, I have a job. Okay. I'm working even though I lost my former job. I'm working right now. And the restaurant thing, I don't think it's a good idea, honestly speaking. Collins, why is, it, why is it not a good idea? Okay. First off, I'll be frank with you. Since I started, I started dating you, uh, things have not been quite good. What are you trying to insinuate? Look, Things just get more difficult. I don't know. I lost my first job, lost the second one, and now, thank God, I'm working. And the way things are going on in this one too, it doesn't look good too. Oh, wait, are you trying to tell me that I'm the reason why you've lost both jobs? I'm not saying you're the reason. I'm just saying. No, you. This, this is just basically what you mean. Okay, you are saying that since you started dating me, things are not going on well with you. You lost the first job, the second one, and you are probably going to lose the third one. So what at all are you getting at? I was just making a suggestion, okay? Something that could benefit us both. I'm just saying like, things are not going on well. Things are not going on, and I'm the cause. Is that right? I didn't say you are the cause. I'm just saying since you came into my life, that, that's the way things are now. What, the statement you made and what I said, what's the difference between it? Well, I didn't blame you. You what? I said I'm not blaming you. You are, you basically are, you are just beating about the bush. Look, very well then. I think this is a good time to say this. I've been thinking of us breaking up. This relationship, I don't see it going anywhere. With the restaurant idea, I don't think there's a future for us. I'm not willing to invest in this. Look, I'm sorry to break it to you, but 
I don't think I can build any future with you. After all the years we spent together, after everything we've been through, I've been by your side during those times you were looking for a job. After losing your jobs, I was the one working twice, twice in a day. Okay, out of the 24 hours, I had less than six hours of sleep because I took in two jobs. Why are you speaking as if you're the only one doing something? I wasn't just sitting around whilst we were doing that. God. Look. I don't think we are meant for each other, okay? I think we should just go our separate ways. For the better. Look, I'm done with this conversation. I'm leaving. So that's it. What do you think you can do here? Um, first off, I have a degree and I um, have a lot to give. I'm very punctual and um, I'm, I'm really, really hardworking. Yes. And I'll make sure that this um, restaurant you know, becomes popular and becomes one of the best restaurants in town. Uh, when it comes to popularity, we are already popular. So, as you are saying, there are a lot of things you can bring on board. Uh, is it uh, on the kitchen side, you know, security? I don't, I don't understand. Make me understand. Which side? Overall, I will bring changes to everything. The security, the services, how we, how we manage things here. I'll make sure I bring rules and that will make sure um, this um, restaurant stand out out of the rest. Okay, uh, let's assume a customer comes here and after eating, uh, you f he or she find out that the amount he's supposed to pay you is not enough. Uh, what would be your reaction? What are you going to do? Um, first off, I'm pretty sure there will be a menu for the person and he knows what he's supposed to pay. But if his money isn't enough, unfortunately, we have to see something from the person unless until he brings back the money. Or we call him and he makes a call to a friend or family to come pay him. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> I think based on what I've heard, you are good for future. Uh, so what, if I make you a manager, if I make you a manager, what should I expect from you? Let's assume now you are a manager here. What should I expect from you? Um, sir, I want you to expect the best and nothing else. Okay, no problem, it's fine. <clears throat> At least I have to give you the chance to prove to me what you think you have within. Okay, so I don't manage this place alone actually i'm here with my wife oh, wonderful. obviously they are in charge of when it comes to money and, and employing people my wife is in charge uh -huh. so i uh, she's on the way coming so obviously she has the final say 
or she has something to say. So she will be here any moment from now. months for how many months just eight minutes. eight months You're no right. no no <laughs> young man is it because i'm pregnant that's why you're telling me it's eight months does this belly looks like it an eight month pregnancy to you well huh? i didn't count you so. left me a year and a half ago really huh? well, it still doesn't matter you're still pregnant and i'm sure it's out of red luck but so, look at how miserable you are Now, so now you I'm, I'm surprised. I'm just... women, you see pregnant women, you speak to them. Is that right? Okay. Yeah? Bad. I'm sorry. Sorry. But didn't anyone tell you that pregnant women have the most, the most bad anger of all? Please spare me that. Don't get on my nerves, okay? After telling me I'm bad luck, eh? When I decided to help you open, a, let's just open a restaurant. Let's put our name on it. You told me no. Hmm? Because I'm bad luck and you broke up with me just for coming up with a business idea and mention the fact that you lost your job. And now you tell me I'm bad luck, that's why it's out of red luck, that's why I'm pregnant. Speaking to you is a waste of time, honestly. Ah, uh, yes. What's going on here? Ah. Hey, why are you wearing my mask? <laughs> Why am I wearing your shirt? Okay. You are asking me why am I wearing your shirt? When I told you to buy me big dresses, you told me no. I went to buy it to her. Eh? You were complaining. It, 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 okay. um, actually, this is uh, Alex, the one we're talking about. She's here for the job. I have already spoken with you. So I was just waiting for you and seeing you guys talking. I, mean, I feel like everything is settled. I'm sorry boss, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm really confused. This um, about what? Who is she to use that? She's my wife. This is your wife? Yes, of course. The wife you, you're talking about? Yes. What is it? Why do you have any problem with that? No problem. <laughs> you have a beautiful wife. Yeah. So, baby, this is the man who's taking over this place. You are going to employ this man. I have already done that, but I was just waiting for you to... You've already employed me, you didn't even tell me. No, I was just waiting for you to endorse it. You know, I can't just proceed. I have to wait for you, so... Honey, listen. I... I'm sorry I was angry. I can't imagine your shit. But this young man, remember I told you when you met me for the first time? I told you that there was this guy I was dating, and I decided to bring about a, a, opening a restaurant with him. And then he dumped me because he said I thought I was bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm like, I'm getting confused. You mean this is the guy? And then what well, like why are you sitting here with with him? Mr. Man. Can you believe he, he said this pregnancy is out of work? Me, my child. Uh, it was a misuse of words. I'm oh, terribly, okay, I'm, okay. I'm terribly okay. sorry. Mr. Man, get up. Get up! Boss, please. Get up! You think you you, 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 you can do things anyhow? The business idea I gave you. I gave it to you. Now, no. My friend. Now leave! Leave! Please, uh, can you. Me, wet blocks. Go away! 
I was bad luck to you. I was a blessing to another man. Leave. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you went to all this. I was, I was, I went to the market, and you called me, made me work from me. Let's go. Oh, I can't. I don't need to fix this thing. I can't. Let's go. Next time, when you're employing someone, let's go. This baby is a boy. Baby boy, there you go.